I remember growing up thinking that there were no foods out there other than Jamaican food and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Processed foods too, because they were just everywhere. I wanna say Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles was like the first time I witnessed an actual triangle pizza. Later in grade school, I was harshly judged by some friends when I stuck my finger in their pizza to see if it was real. Today's recipe, while not Jamaican, or a pizza, or even a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, it's a Greek stew from the longevity island of Ikaria. I gotta admit, for me, the sheer amount of olive oil in this recipe is scary. You can tweak it to use a little less. On the other hand, olive oil has healthy fats, strong anti-inflammatory properties, and a lot of antioxidants. So if there was an oil you were planning to chug like your favorite beer in college, this would be it. We're starting the recipe showing how to quick soak dried black eyed peas. Because we're making a stew and we want our beans to hang out in there, we don't want fully cooked or canned beans. Although, if you wanna use canned beans, I'll let you know a little later where you can put those in. And if you wanna swap the beans, you can use black eyed pintos. Pinto eyes, no. Dried pinto beans. 
in the same method. With the amount of aromatics that we're starting with, we're gonna use about two tablespoons of olive oil to get things going. Partly to incorporate flavor, but also to aid the ingredients from holding on to the steel pan. I did also use about a pinch of salt here to get things started, which helps draw out the moisture from the aromatics to help them keep shape while we're cooking them for about 10 to 15 minutes. And that upfront cooking time is really important as we have minimal spices going in here. So we need to lightly caramelize and toast the ingredients on this way to journey into that deep flavor. In the next step, we're adding in the peas, the tomato paste, the diced tomatoes. I actually prefer canned tomatoes. Wait, 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 hear me out. Canned tomatoes are canned at the perfect time and with a little bit of salt added, therefore enhancing that quintessential tomato taste. And lastly, the skin is typically removed, which helps cut out that bitter taste. But for the purposes of keeping things outside of the can and full of pure, fresh ingredients, a unpreserved, newly harvest fresh tomato works perfectly. You could always add salt later. Now, with a brief stir and your seasonings dumped into the pot, make sure to sink those bay leaves straight to the bottom. Now, here's the wait and that flavor development period. 40 minutes to an hour until those peas are nice and tender. And if you want a quicker 30-minute version of this very same meal, this is where those canned peas can come in. Do everything exactly the same, and once you get to the point of waiting, instead of 40 minutes to an hour, you're just gonna hang out and be there for about 10, 15 minutes. Flavors won't be as developed, but a little bit of increase in the seasoning should help compensate. When I make this for the household, because I have kiddos, I even chop the baby spinach up. This keeps it from being slithery or too long and triggering a gag reflex. You add it in your dill, you're adding in your spinach. Now you stir and add in about two more tablespoons of olive oil. So you could skip the additional olive oil if you like, but the oil does add a bit more flavor. And while adding a bit more smoothness to the texture of the stew. Overall, this dish doesn't have that punchy, in your face kind of flavor, but a subtle, relaxed, comforting taste you can enjoy weekly. This black eyed peas stew can be found linked in the description or at my website, makeitdairyfree.com. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, believe in good. Peace.